No, 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 no. Oh, man. Wait, 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 wait. Should I do it? Wait, wait, wait. 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 Uh, I think I will do it. Do it! Creating content for two different city building war games seems impossible. Nothing is impossible. I'm not sure if I can do it. Yes, you can. Just do it. I did it. Spartans! What is your profession? Now, first of all, we are going to select a faction that's like a civilization. The one that I'm going to select is League of Order. I can actually make a detailed video about which one to select. But the reason why I'm going to go with League of Order is because of faction bonuses. All right, we are in. Let me take a look at my city and the map, please. Okay, city looks really good, really nice. You start with your basic quests, collect wood. This definitely looks more cartoonish than Rise of Kingdoms, that's for sure. This also looks easier on my eyes. We will have a better idea when we look at the map, but that's the number one thing that I'm, I'm interested in because... I don't care how it looks as long as it is easier on my eyes. And this looks definitely easier. Let, let's see. Darklings. Okay, these are probably the barbarians that we need to kill. All right, let's go, let's go. Ow, look at the cutscene for an epic. He's not even a legendary. Look at that. So his range is very far. This is super important. I mean, later on, we will understand which is more important. Because if cavalry units are able to close this gap extremely fast, and then this doesn't mean anything. But if not... It's going to be superb. Deal skill damage to the target and two nearby legions. Damage factor 600 inflicts gloom on them, which reduces their attack by 20 for 2 seconds. That's a good active skill. Royal Court Mage. All magic units gain 10% magic attack and HP. Nice. 15% more skill damage. Fourth skill when he takes skill damage, his legion receives a shield. Okay, so he is magic. He is ranged. He has high skill damage, but he also has some sort of tankiness because of... 10% extra HP and the shield. And his enhancement skill, which is like expertise. Two nearby legions goes up to three. Damage factor increases 100. And now instead of inflicting gloom only, you inflict gloom and freeze, reducing the attack by 20%. And on top of that, march speed for 20%. I don't know, like Voldir looks really, really good. Okay, follow the tavern to pick up an artifact. So artifacts are just like equipment. But they also have special effects. Let me grab an artifact. Draw one. Let's see what we get. Ench... What? Enchiridi. What is that? I'm just going to call it advanced incantations. Magic and peacekeeping. That is really good. Deals damage to the selected legion. Dark things, dark creatures and behemoths only. So you cannot deal damage to other players with this artifact. And damage factor is 1.4k. That's really high. Equip. Boom. Confirm. Let's fight this Darkling and see what is his range. Now, my question is, is this actually the maximum range? That doesn't look very far. Use an artifact skill. Okay. So this even wasn't our active skill. It was an artifact skill. That was so much damage. Nice. What is that, bet? <laughs> How about... Let's grab the stone. Mysterious stone. Okay. One eternity later. Oh my god. Why he is so slow? Did you see that? Did you see the shadow? Okay, let's take a look at this stone. Turn the beer into a servant of darkness. So this is how behemoths are created, right? They just simply possess the animals. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> look at that skull. He looks like, I'm an island boy. I'm a game to make it. I'm an island boy. Hall of Order to level 2. So... Hall of Order is basically our main building. If you played Rise of Kingdoms before, this is your city hall. So that's the main building that you want to upgrade over time. Hall of Order, upgrade. Just like she says, the Hall of Order is the heart of our city. I guess we can now free roam. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, so these are the behemoths. Look at that one. Giant bear. That's just a giant. Okay. Okay, this map looks huge. What if we move like in the middle of the map? Are there different behemoths? That has to be, right? Alright, just like I said at the start of the game, this map, surely very, very easy on my eyes, which is something that I really like. So I can look at the screen longer. Let's take a look at events. First arrival. Okay, we have Behemoth Hunter. Oh, okay. So from this event, we can actually take a look at how many Behemoths are there. We have Giant Bear, Giant, Thunder Rock, Hydra, Dire Bear, and Necro Giant. Okay, I think this is the... Wait, there is more. Magma Demon. And the big flame dragon. Okay, so we have eight different behemoths for now. Building a home. Okay, just increase your building power. Divine deposit, great holes. We have strongest lord, which is just like mightiest governor. Let's look at hero screen. And oh my god. 
There are so many heroes. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 legendaries. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 epics and 3 rares. Since this is a first look video, I'm not going to go over every single hero. But I will make a separate video that is dedicated to heroes. For now, just know that we have lots of options. Let me fight against another Darkling so we can actually check the maximum range. Deploy. Wait, okay, so... Here's a huge difference between Call of Dragons and Rise of Kingdoms because in Rise of Kingdoms, yes, you can select every single troop type with every single commander. You can use them together. But if I select Swordsman with Waldir, it says Waldir magic skill damage does not match with infantry units physical attack. Waldir may not be able to deal skill damage. So you should only use respectable troop type with that commander. There is a level 2 dark link. We are going to attack it and see the maximum range on the magic commanders. Oh, we are still moving. Okay. Well, right, that's pretty good. That is certainly a very nice range. And imagine with Waldir, when you expertise him, you will also apply March speed reduction. So it will be even harder for your opponent to close the gap so that's really good a quick look at talent tree all right so we have a pretty big talent tree magic pvp skills it says activate talent mighty power first which is this one so before you can take talents from your main trees like skill pvp and magic in this case first you need to unlock mighty power and to be able to unlock mighty power you need to upgrade your foundation talents first so step one upgrade your foundation talents step two unlock mighty power and then you can go skill pvp or magic whichever you prefer but first foundation talents and mighty power we will of course discuss talent trees in future but for a first impressions video i think that is enough information now artifacts i said these are like equipment but they also have special effects and another thing that you should know as you can see just like your heroes artifacts do also have their own levels and skill levels so you can actually upgrade the skill of your artifact just like you upgrade a skill of a hero from 1.4k damage it goes up to 2.8 and if you click on upgrade another advanced incantation emblem is required so what you need to do is to collect same type of emblems for your artifact and for now if we click on the plus icon the only way to get it from the tavern but obviously we have tons of artifacts we click on replace and look at all these legendaries, epics, and even rare and green artifacts. Let's look at some legendaries. This looks like a staff. Yes, staff of the prophet. Magic unit HP plus legion HP. And I want you to look at the effect. Select a friendly legion within the current region and within alliance territory. After a 15 seconds charge up, teleports your legion and two nearby friendly legions to the target location. So... <laughs> This is extremely strong, but cooldown is 8 hours. But for this one, cooldown is only 1 minute and 30 seconds. Marksman unit HP plus legion HP deals damage up to 5 enemy legions in a designated rectangle. So with this artifact, every 90 seconds, you can deal AoE damage in a rectangle shape up to 5 enemy legions. Each legion takes 15% less damage, but damage targets are sealed, which means they cannot cast their own artifact skills for 10 seconds so i think wireless bow is pretty strong and i really wanted to check this one Graymar's warhammer infantry unit defense and legion defense so it's a very defensive artifact which is pretty good cooldown again 90 seconds rage cost 400 deals damage up to four surrounding enemy legions look at that oh so that is like a circular aoe that is great again targets take 15 percent less damage damage targets are stunned which means cannot move or act for two seconds. You completely freeze them, and this effect can only be triggered once every 10 seconds. I think this is super strong because imagine you are getting swarm, you use this artifact, and you stun everybody around you for two seconds, and just poof, you can run away. So Graymar's Warhammer seems pretty strong as well. And before we end the video, if you click on the question mark, you can see which heroes are available in the gold chest. Emrys, Nika, Garwood, Nico, Theia, and Valin. So I believe these six commanders are the first ones that we need to focus, we need to make a video on. Let's go real quick to see the animation. Alright. Oh, we got... <laughs> I said in a few days, but looks like we got her in a few minutes. Yeah, that's the other starting hero, which has peacekeeping talents. That is perfect. Welcome. We summoned the other one too. So I guess you just summon these starting heroes on your first chest. Which means selecting your faction based on the starting hero 
is not a good choice unless of course you kept getting more sculptures throughout your gameplay for for your starting hero and the way you upgrade your heroes are pretty simple pretty straightforward do i have an xp book yes so we can upgrade it like this or killing neutral units of course and once you upgrade their level to certain points like level 10 20 and then you're going to upgrade their star ratings with medals and in the meantime of course you will upgrade their skills with the tokens that you collected for that specific commander or you can also use universal tokens this was our first look on call of dragons more to come make sure to subscribe and stay tuned bye